up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing great. Uh, this one was real tri tricky to figure out and tricky to teach and all that, but uh, you know, I really wanted to give you guys a, a special solo lesson. I hadn't done something like this in a while, so I'm giving it to you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully you have fun with it. Uh, also, thanks for all the extra support. I've got you know the website that you can try out for free for two weeks and the link uh, right down there below the box. Social media stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, but anyway, let's zoom in. We got a lot of a lot of uh, finger movements to uh, to learn, so let's get to it. Here we go. All right, so the solo's got a lot of distortion and octaver underneath, which gives it the special tone that you've got going on with the recording. I'm going to teach it to you with a clean tone here, just so we can get it down. Um, and it starts like this. So that's the first phrase, and we're starting with the uh, ninth fret of the G string bent up, pre-bent. We're bending it before we pluck the note, a minor third up to this uh, 12th fret G string. And we start up there and we go, let it come down. And then we pull off to the 7 of the G, back to the 9. So then we're going which would be 9797 on the G. Then we've got 57 on the D two times hammering it 5 to 7. And then the same thing on the A string. Then back to the 5 on the D, to 7 on the A. Dun, dun, dun. And that's part of the song where it's... Okay, so here's that from the top. move. Five to seven. Then you pick that seven again and slide up a whole step. Then we've got 7 and 9 on the G, and then we pluck that 9 again. So it would sound like this. Here it is from the top again. Backtrack a little bit. So then we're going uh, 7, 9 on the G, 8 on the B, 10 on the B. So the B's different from the box. So we hit it once, then bend it up a whole step and back. Then, on that 10 of the B, bend it, but not all the way. It's like almost not all the way. Then that A to the B, then that 
that root, which is 7 of the G, then a whole step down, back again. So... transitioning to the next position up here from the 9 of the G up to the 14 of the G, then the 12 on the B from that transition. So then we're bending that 15 of the B up a whole step, natural and back. So it sounds a little different when it's broken down slow. So. on the high E. So look at the finger transition though. I'm 15 on the high E. Come back down. But I'm reaching back to the 12th of the high E. Okay, so then pull off from 15 to 12 on the high E to the 15 on the B, and there's a weird squonk note, that, so I couldn't, it was hard to make out some weird noise in between this, but then it does it again, like that, so check it out. So, so we got to go two of those from fifteen to twelve, fifteen on the B. Then one of those, but on the 15 of the B to 12 on the B. And then when we get to the 14 of the G, so we got like that, okay? So let's go, oops, let's go up to that point. See that? 
get to that 14 on the G, we gotta start to bend that up and then do the classic blues thing by going to 12 on the B, 12 on the high E. Okay, so we're bending this. So 14, 12, 12, and then a pull off from the 15 to the 12 on the B. Down the box, so back to 14 on the G. So when we do this, we're pulling off from the 15 to the 12 on the B. So we pull off from the 15 to the 12 on the B and go to the 14 on the G, then 12 on the G. All the way down to the 14 of the D. Back to the 12 on the G. And then when we go to the 14 of the G, it's a whole step bend. And then back down, release to the 12. Okay, so let me do it from the slide up because I know it's, it's, it was weird to figure out, so it's weird to teach too. with the track. So finally, the final little uh, phrase of the solo. So that's the first thing, we're bending the uh, 14th of the G. Then with our index planted on the 12th, we're hammering on pulling off between the 14 and the tw uh, 12 of the G. Then we're going to the root, the 14 of the D. Then back up to the 12 of the G, so. Then back to the 14 of the D. Then we're pulling off from the 14 to the 12 on the D, and then going to the 14 of the A. Then we're going back to the 12 of the D. Sliding from 14 to the 12 with our ring finger on the A. Index.
index on the tenth of the A. So a pull off, same move kind of thing, uh, 12 to the 10 on the A, to finally the root, which is the 12 of the low E. And right from there, ring fingers rolling over onto the 12th of the A, sliding up again. Once we slide up, we go to the 12 of the D. And then we hit it again, up to the 14, 12 of the G, back down to the root, which is 14 of the D. So 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, and then finally is support. Thanks for hanging out. Hope to see you guys in another video real soon. Uh, be sure to try my website out. You know, a lot of good lessons on there in the link below this box. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you real soon.